I'm John Shane Halls, Pioneer Field Agronomist, social distancing in the snow in northern Ohio mid-April 2020. First step for a season of weed control success in soybeans is effective burn down herbicide applications. I've had multiple conversations with growers in the last week about the amount of mare's tail in addition to other winter annual weeds like chickweed, henbit, and purple dead nettle that's growing in fields that were left untreated over the winter. Ragweed is also emerging and pigweeds like water hemp will be expected to merge in several weeks. These weeds can be problematic not only for the challenges they pose while growing soybeans but also because they serve as a host for soybean cyst nematode. Getting these weeds killed now will be the easiest time rather than waiting for several weeks or even after planting. For many years, a standard soybean burn down program has included about a half a pound acid equivalent of 2,4-D as well as glyphosate and other residual products. This leads to a seven day plant back interval before planting soybeans, which is fairly manageable. Now, while this has been the old standby, I would recommend starting to look at increasing rates of 2,4-D closer to a full pound acid equivalent per acre. The advantage to this is much more reliable and consistent control of weeds like mare's tail and other tough to control weeds. But the drawback is it does increase the plant back interval to about 14 days or more, depending on the product. Now in the Enlist E3 soybean technology system, growers can use the Enlist 1 or Enlist Duo 2,4-D products to apply a full rate of 2,4-D and not deal with a plant back interval prior to planting Enlist E3 soybeans. Now for growers in the Roundup Ready to Extend program, Dicamba products like Fexapan, Extendamax, or Ingenia can be applied with no plant back interval, but again, that's only in the Roundup Ready to Extend herbicide system. 2,4-D or Dicamba can be sprayed in less than ideal conditions with cool, cloudy weather. Now days with snow, freezing temperatures, and cloud cover probably aren't ideal, but when we start getting closer to 50 degrees um, and above freezing at night, those cool cloudy days could still be effective for herbicide applications. Weeds death will be slower, but it's still likely to continue. Some other herbicides that can be mentioned for use in burn down include glufosinate or Liberty, Sharpen, or even Paraquat or Gramoxone. These herbicides may be considered due to the fact that when used at the right rates, there are no plant back restrictions when going to soybeans. Now for each of these herbicides, um, they're gonna be most effective in warm, sunny weather and should be focused on complete coverage of weeds using medium to coarse size droplets and higher gallonage rates per acre to achieve that coverage. With any herbicide, make sure to use the right adjuvants like methylated seed oil, crop oil, um, non-ionic surfactants, AMS, etc. per label recommendations and always read and follow the label recommendations and requirements. For other questions, contact your local Pioneer Field sales representative or field agronomist and territory manager. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.